Psalm 73. Truly, God is good to Israel, to those who are pure in heart. But, as for me, my feet had almost stumbled, my steps had nearly slipped, for I was envious of the arrogant when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For they have no pangs until death, their bodies are fat and sleek. They are not in troubles as others are, they are not stricken like the rest of mankind, therefore pride is their necklace, violence covers them as a garment, their eyes swell out through fatness, their hearts overflow with follies. They scoff and speak with malice. Loftily they threaten oppression. They set their mouths against the heavens, and their tongue struts through the earth. Therefore his people turn back to them and find no fault in them. And they say, How can God know? Is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the wicked, always at ease. They increase in riches. All in vain. Have I kept my heart clean and washed my hands in innocence? For all the day long I have been stricken and rebuked every morning. If I had said, I will speak thus, I would have betrayed the generation of your children. But when I thought how to understand this, it seemed to me a worrisome task. Until I went to the sanctuary of God, then I discerned their end. Truly, you set them in slippery places, and you make them fall to ruin. How they are destroyed in a moment, swept away utterly by terrors. Like a dream when one awakes, O Lord, when you rouse yourself, you despise them as phantoms. When my soul was embittered, when I was pricked in heart, I was brutish and ignorant. I was like a beast towards you. Nevertheless, I am continually with you. You hold my right hand. You guide me with your counsel, and afterward you will receive me to glory. Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is nothing on earth that I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For behold, those who are far from you will perish. You put an end to, the, to everyone who is unfaithful to you. But for me it is good to be near God. I have made the Lord my refuge, that I might tell of all your works. This, uh, this psalm is probably one of the other two chapters that are unique to me. But this, this psalm is my favorite psalm, and it has to be in here for me. Um, this is the most selfish of all of the chapters. This is the most selfish one. Uh, this is the one that I want it to be in the 50 because it's the one that helps me remember why I'm here um, that the cry of my heart should be there's no, no, no one in heaven that I want and there's nothing on earth that I want other than God um, and that if that is not true then I need to examine my heart um, that other people can have things and whatever but it's honestly it's ultimately the fact that God is eternal and that I am eternal because of him and then that changes our mindset. That changes why we do what we do. It changes who we are because we realize it's not just about today. It's about the fact that we have a future that's past today. And I might not have it all right now, but I have a good God who loves me and who will lead me to glory. And that's a beautiful thing. Um, that that line it, itself, for whatever reason, has completely changed the way in the, that I am, the person that I am. And, um, and that's why it has to be in here for me. Yet again, this is... This is the selfish chapter for me. This is the one that keeps me grounded and me centered. Um, and I hope that, uh, that it can do the same for you. Uh, yep, Psalm 73.